Hey everybody, it's Roach, and we're back with Outlast again. This is episode 6, so if you missed any of the previous ones, go catch up. There's a playlist for you. Now, I was excited to play this this morning. Uh, looking forward to playing some games, and then I remembered that we lost our bloody... ...camcorder... ...in the last game. In the last episode. Now our task says, you need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. For goodness sake. Um, it fell down there. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go get it. I wish Miles' feet weren't so loud. Cause I'm really scared. Someone walked through there. All these noises are putting me on edge. I'm a brave boy. I can do it. Ugh, the way he peeks is horrible, isn't it? Assuming we won't find any batteries. Ooh, Miles just started hyperventilating a lot. Oh, I can't do it without my camcorder. This is rough. Whew. Why is it so much scarier now? I think it's because I don't have that safety thing. You know? Why did it have to add this hurdle? It took us so much effort to get up there. Don't get it. Okay. Should be behind us. Jesus. We're gonna have to go right somehow. These people. I literally jumped in my chair. I don't know where to go here. Can't go over there. Too dark. Why is it not daytime yet? I think I see it. Our camcorder's there. Miles, you really don't help with little whinging. Oh, okay. 
the camera's broken. Oh my gosh, I'm way less scared now. It's fine. We're good. I'm just going back the way I came. Don't know if that works. Why is the camera being all weird now? Ooh. Ooh. That was a scary few minutes. Oh, this camcorder makes things so much better. And check corners and stuff. Oh, there is a battery here. Do they spawn? Maybe they spawn. Oh yeah, we can't make it across there now, can we? Or can we? We won't. Miles might surprise us. Ah, he did it. I'm really surprised. Find Father Martin in the administration block. Okay. Can we jump across this? I go yeah. How are there so many people here still alive? Like, what do they eat? Maybe each other. Wait, is this where we were through this hole? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's where we were. Okay. I'm gonna jump across there. That was close. I just... I fell through that plank. Oh, that's where we started the last episode. Down there. I didn't see him. Hi. He does not look friendly at all. Hey, bro. Only one way out. Only one way. Where is it? Where is the way? Oh, I mean no offense, but you know. How do you know you're not a patient? You I mean you have a point. We could be a patient. This bit looks better finished. We haven't seen any females yet. Considering we're in the female ward. Maybe I don't know. Wait, is that the outside? How do you get over here? I think he's coming. Oh. 
That guy's got a broken neck. That looks like the bathroom we were in in the first episode when we broke into this place. Wayne's here. He's just broken in. I think. Just a crack in the camera being a douche. We got a note. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Vernick and his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened. But beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer generation, I believe Vernick's method has breached the spiritual realm, something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition, briefly, but undeniably so. Please forward my note an invitation to witness further experiments to Dirk Eckhart, I probably said that very, very wrong. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may be made aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dr. Vernick's successes represent an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Regards to your family. Signature illegible. I'm supposed to tell you, the key to the house of God is in the theater, behind the light, in the theater, behind the light. You have to see the movie, so that's where I left the card, okay? Hey! Super! I need your help! Where are you? Yes, coming! I'm coming! Okay. I didn't think I should trust him, but we did just hear him calling to him. What's this smoke about? Is it gonna let us peek over this ladder? No. Okay, we have to go across here. We trusted Father Martin very quickly, didn't we? Maybe we should have just, we should just be trying to escape. <laughs> that guy sees us. that noise oh that's a projector and that's a projector oh I've got to leave this out <laughs> huh. oh Jesus we came through there quick that was an accident Oh, that's where the guy was. Oh, shit. Uh, exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. 
Okay, we're watching the movie. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English words are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary. What are we going to need that code? 8416 You're something. The experiment needed in proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Is he not gonna answer? Is that the end of the audio? Um, where'd that dude go? Is it him? No. Whoa. A lot more people here than I thought. Oh, dead people. Like they just died while they were in the middle of something. Maybe not. What do you say? Where was he in? So, okay, I don't know what he said. Gotta reload our battery though. He said the key is behind the light. Who we got another file? From Brunton to Willard. Williard. Willard, I don't know. Wash those hands regularly. Necrotizing for CTs. Really? I fucking quit. Okay, that's a weird one. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, there's stairs here. Why doesn't Asylum have a theatre? There's the key. Who wants to bet something hard? Oh! What? Why don't we get in there now? Oh, he went that way. Is he mean? <clears throat> I 
Oh, now that door's open. Lovely. You take the key, hide in the locker. Find Father Martin on the third floor. I think that's what it said. Can we go this way now? No. Which one of you buggers is going to jump out here? Ooh, that is that Wayne. I think we might just have to go. Oh, it's a naked dude. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna run and try not to look at him. Blurring out naked dudes is a pain in the butt. I think there was a dude over there, but I'm not looking in his direction. Ooh, look, more blood. Follow the blood. Are we going to turn out to just be a patient here? Why'd you do that? Okay, I think we're on the third floor, aren't we? Who's making a weird ghost noise? Someone's going, oh. Okay, that guy. That guy looks relatively sane. Yeah, probably can tell by tell by his stance. He's not rocking or anything. Oh, this could be a bad time to change batteries. Hey. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, it's dark. Um, oh, uh, just keep going this way then. Oh, look, this little sneak way. This guy's got a way nicer room than everybody else. He's praying. Maybe we'll find something useful in one of these stalls. Mike, right, there's a lot of people praying, isn't there? Look them all. We are meant to go this way. Those freaking mountains. Hey, guy. Don't want to disturb you. But I say, God hates sickness. God hates money. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sorry, guys. You're naked. Who's this dude? Is that the father? We will join the wall rider in just a moment. The key to unlock the elevator. Find Father Man on the third floor. Is that not him? 
My Job. You alone shall escape the Talva. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. I feel like we should be. And, and here it is. Recording this. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now, my son. Oh dear. Elevator will take you to the main exit. Sorry, I stopped recording. Okay, time to leave. Can I leave now? Nice guys. I mean, it was kind of terrifying. We do have a note though. I have a note. Uh, I can't believe Father Martin one up to Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die. And I don't believe I'm going to miss him. A way out. If he's telling the truth, now I've got a way out. And a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole fucking world. Okay, are we. Do you, do you think we're actually gonna get out? I don't bother with that when we over here. Okay, I don't know which way the elevator is. Oh, God. Okay, I've hide hidden under a bed. But he can't find us under here if he breaks the door down. I don't know what way the elevator is. Screw it, go in. Oh man. Oh hey, I hate you. Oh look, there's a shaft. Sorry, bro. Look at him. I'm gonna crawl across here. I'm assuming he knows his way around here. This place was a nightmare. If we, you know, if we do get out, I'll be surprised. Oh, where are we going now? Take us to the basement, isn't it? Oh no. Find another way out. Are you serious? Wait, what? Like an ice tunnel. A friggin' symbol. Oh no. This is, we saw this on the security tape. What happened? What made these blood splatters? Like guards came in and something flung them around. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know. I know. Only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this word allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel, call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it. It's Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated body. Ah. 
I knew it wasn't going to be straightforward. Question is, when's Wayne going to get down here? It is just broken. Ooh, a file. Project Wall Rider. Post mortem preparatory board. All material herein to be transcribed or revised to fit legally binding requirements of Mirko Corp. Records C form 48.3. Author Jennifer Rowland, my 14th autopsy of a bull rider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired, doubting my judgment will submit another request for leave. Psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein. Ooh. Will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Mirkov security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Delivery exit. I'm leaving the doors open just in case I need to run from something. Hey look, there's the outside. There's like military vehicles. Okay, we just caught the morphogenic engine on camera, lovely. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics, an algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Vernick's corpse. Till I owe him a debt. I'd have these doors open, damn it. Oh, Wayne, of course you're friggin' here. Of course you are. No more escape. The wall riders got you. soldier this is the way you die rip to pieces from the inside watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall 
You've, so you've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Why did I think his name was Wayne? Freaking America. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me. Poor idiot. Floaty dude? Find Billy in the main laboratory. Jesus. Come on. Alright, where... We achieved something like this in 1944. So is it this way? Oh! God! I think he can like morph through things, so hiding behind a canister or a door isn't gonna do anything. Oh jeez. Oh, this is cleaning us. Oh God, he was waiting right there. Damn it, Miles. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, it's this way. Okay, objective. Turn off the valve for the life support. Wait, yeah. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid reservoir. Okay, where is that? How did you get down here? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a sign saying this is where the reservoir is. Run miles. Hey, they look empty. Whatever they are. It's freaking blood everywhere. Wasn't expecting this weird super lab to be in the air. This is it. Do not turn the valve. Why is it here then? Cut off the electric supply from the sub lab generator. Oh, we know what that is. We went there. I think he was behind me. I don't know. Can I open this door? Oh, they're closing. Really quickly. But then we left the other one open. <laughs> go, Miles, go. We're almost there. We thought we got that way. We were coming down the elevator, though, to be fair. <laughs> oh, maybe Father Mind was telling the truth, but Mirkov overrided the elevator and he was watching us on the cameras. 
Bloody hell. This is a long way. We're not gonna make it for some reason. Because some of them's gonna grab us then. See the way you rip Wayne apart? I'm not gonna call him something else now, but I know him as Wayne. We'd have no chance. Neither would that crazy doctor. Oh my god, how many stairs are there? Drop! Oh, it's not that way. Why, oh why, is there now a friggin' dark place? Go! Okay. We're gonna run as soon as this door opens. Go! Save up Billy's life for fail save. Oh, where is that? Okay, we've got a note first. Please find attached. The permission to proceed. From form for the patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Vernick, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Now where is his failsafe? Guessing it's not up here. So I'm gonna be back in the main bit. Yeah. Oh no. All of our bones. Run! How are we running? Like he put his hands out. His arms are being splinters. Okay, where the frig is it? Where's the fail say? Oh, that's him. Dude, you, you gotta die. It's fair. I ran friggin' miles turning stuff, ripping stuff. Silas? Oh yeah, we're still missing the fingers. Get out. Okay, I will try, but... Where... Oh, okay, I, we don't have to nip this much all the way through. Oh, okay, and we're just moving into a cinematic bit. Also, Father Martin said we're no longer in danger. I don't know how he thought he had control over that.
Oh, why make this last bit so tedious? I guess they really didn't want to make it easy, did they? No. That's how we die? Oh, that's how it ends? God damn it. You have become the host. kidding me is that the only possible ending I'm literally speechless I can't believe that happened what the hell they didn't even let us get out in the end I'm really irritated what the hell I mean oh okay uh, we finished it, though. I'm kind of proud of myself. I managed to get through it. That was a really long episode, though. I didn't intend it for it to be that long. But hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really does help. And let me know what you thought about that ending in the comments. Also, please let me know if you've played it, and there is a way to escape. Because I, obviously I wasn't able to do it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.